daycare owner now accused of pocketing millions of dollars. The feds say she used the cash meant for kids to buy a luxury car and a fancy home. CBS 2 Stephen Graves is digging into the eight year six million dollar scheme. The looks of this southwest suburban home reflect the life of luxury, but the feds now arresting its owner, a daycare provider accused of fraud. A 14 count indictment says Alicia McDowell stole from a state government agency to help pay a $250,000 down payment on the house and an $85,000 payment on a 2017 Bentley. It was part of a scheme prosecutors say in all was worth $6.1 million. Paperwork says McDowell, the accused ringleader, owned multiple daycares, including A and A Kitty College in Calumet City and Creative Kids Academy in Chicago. Prosecutors say she and staffers would have parents falsify documents sent to the state's child care assistance program, which helps low income families afford child care. Fake information included, quote, client employment, income, and enrollment in education programs. The goal, more families would be approved for subsidy payments that would roll into staffers' pockets. This went on, according to paperwork, for at least eight years. So how could this happen for so long? The Illinois Department of Children and Family Services says McDowell has held licensing since 2007. They claim to have background checks. But what about the Illinois Department of Human Services? Services, that agency over the money. IDHS would only say it has zero tolerance for fraud, and if fraud is found, it will recoup the money. But CBS2 found McDowell, who is now facing money laundering charges, has no criminal history. Four of her workers also facing wire fraud charges. Stephen Graves, CBS2 News. We reached out to the daycare for comment, but we are still waiting for a response.